In February 2011, the city of Richmond, Virginia, inaugurated its new fleet of compressed natural gas CNG refuse collection vehicles, a project made possible with the assistance of Virginia Clean Cities. This is Alan Harmon with Virginia Clean Cities here at the successful site for Richmond's natural gas waste hauler project, an excellent success story for Virginia Clean Cities and for natural gas alternative fuel projects in Virginia. As you can see, we've got a lot of vehicles here fueling on clean domestic natural gas, and this project is ready to take off. With the price of diesel fuel rising and budgets limited, Richmond saw an opportunity to use a domestically produced energy source while reducing carbon monoxide emissions by 90 percent and other hydrocarbon emissions by 85 percent. Maureen Matson is the energy advisor to Virginia Governor Bob McDonald. Well, natural gas is um, a tremendous transportation fuel. In fact, using natural gas for transportation is one of the most efficient uses for our natural gas energy resource. And I think there is a particular opportunity with fleet vehicles. Um, and those vehicles that use diesel fuel because uh, natural gas is actually about 40% um, or more cheaper than diesel fuel um, and obviously significantly cleaner. Richmond, as a member of the U.S. Department of Energy's Clean Cities program and with the assistance of the Virginia Clean Cities coordinators, conducted an extensive study of its existing fleet, including route analysis, fuel cost, maintenance costs, personnel and facilities costs. The study showed that they could reduce the fleet from 38 low compaction diesel trucks to 25 high compaction CNG trucks. Clean Cities has been a wonderful partner in this regard, assisting us in getting um, a grant and kind of prodding us and pushing us toward uh, our goals of uh, providing the kind of green uh, fleet that we want to have. It lines up very well with our economic goals, our environmental goals, and our societal goals. Uh, economically, we want to be able to have efficiencies wherever we can find them, and so this program is going to help us um, save on fuel costs and labor costs, and so that's a wonderful way for us to meet our economic goals. Virginia Clean Cities was able to catch up with Chris Beschler, who is Deputy Chief Administrative Officer for Richmond Public Utilities. Well, this innovative program really came together um, as a result of a need from a number of different departments. Um, Public Works had a need to replace their diesel fueling um, trucks with uh, a new fleet. Um, and obviously the natural gas utility obviously wants to increase their throughput. So the uh, combination of both of those initiatives came together, and that was one thing that made this a successful and innovative project. I would like to thank Chelsea Jenkins. She has been terrific. Uh, first of all, she has provided us resources. Um, she's always been available to help us out. Um, we are very, very, very grateful to Clean Cities for the grant that we got, $29,000, uh, a very generous gift to the city. Um, Clean Cities has been, been very instrumental in, in helping provide, as I said, resources, grant funding, um, manpower and whatnot to help us um, take this from a concept and actually make it a reality. The selection of domestically produced compressed natural gas as the fuel was a no-brainer for the city of Richmond as it already supplies gas to its residents and industries. We also on the transportation side need to find ways to get ourselves off foreign oil and that's a critical piece in fact on the natural gas side critical reason for going to natural gas is because we have the natural gas reserves um, not just in this country but here in Virginia uh, to support a significant move away from our dependence on foreign oil and that's something that we need to actively pursue. So all of that is a part of our energy agenda. Uh, we are working hard to make Virginia the energy capital of the East Coast and making the most of our natural gas reserves is part of that effort. This session during the General Assembly the governor is uh, supporting a bill that will uh, that directs the Commonwealth to develop a plan for moving all of the vehicles that we own, to the extent that it's practical, um, to alternative fuels. And that includes natural gas, electric vehicles, biofuels, and of course we need to look at what we use vehicles for, where they're located, where the infrastructure is, and what the costs are, um, because frankly we think we can do that, uh, particularly with natural gas, without increasing our costs because of the savings on fuel, that as you change out your fleets, uh, and buy new vehicles, you can incorporate natural gas vehicles and, um, and save money ultimately on our fuel costs. 
to fill the vehicles. A centralized high-pressure compression station was built, which raises the pressure to 3,600 PSI, required to fuel not only the new collection trucks, but also future CNG-powered public transit buses. The CNG-fueled refuse collection vehicles are manufactured by McNeilis Companies Incorporated, part of Oshkosh Corporation. The engines and fuel systems are specifically designed to use CNG. Using CNG will greatly reduce the maintenance activities required on diesel-powered trucks. The City of Richmond estimates that the city will save $1 million in fuel, maintenance, and personnel costs. I think the capstone for this was the mayor's initiative uh, to create a sustainable environment for the, the City of Richmond uh, was really um, what brought all this together. Obviously using CNG, it's a much cleaner burning fuel, and so that certainly uh, did glue this together. Uh, it will also provide revenue uh, to, our, to the Department of Public Utilities because we own gas and so they'll be running on gas and that sounds like a good sound business decision to me. <laughs> right. yeah, we were very proud to be the first city uh, to uh, take our fleet uh, CNG and uh, we believe that during the process we have developed a level of uh, expertise in terms of making this happen and we would encourage other cities to do the same and we would be more than happy uh, to provide um, help to other cities who would like to do it. So if they want to give us a call, we'd be more than willing to uh, consult. For more information on this project and other Virginia Clean Cities efforts, go to www.hrccc.org or contact Virginia Clean Cities at the contact information shown.